In this video, I have the pleasure of bringing you a first look at two of Arctic's latest products. We're going to start off with the Arctic P12 Max. And then after that, we're going to bring you into the Arctic P14 PWM PST ARGB fan. It is also white. So we're going to bring you an unboxing of both so that you can see what comes inside. Then afterwards, we're going to go ahead, connect it to a machine so you can see what it looks like and what it sounds like. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. So we're going to start off first with the P12 Max. The fan itself weighs 184 grams. It is relatively heavy, feels beefy. This does come with a six year warranty. The fan is 25 millimeters in height. So that way you can think about using it for liquid cooling. Talking about liquid cooling, this has a static pressure of 4.35 millimeters H2O. The original had 2.2 millimeters and the RGB one also had 2.2 millimeters. So we see here, it has the interconnecting fan blades. So that looks pretty cool so that it actually goes against the side. And then on the back, Arctic P12, DC 12 volts and point 29 amps you can see that right there the fan speed on this bad boy goes from 200 rpms all the way to 3300 rpms now if you remember on the original it was max at 1800 rpms and it was always at 1800 the rgb one went up to 2000 rpms now that one was variable but this one again will go from 200 all the way up to 3300 rpm so faster than the original Along with speed comes airflow. This will give you 81.4 CFM, while the original would only give you 56.3 CFM, and the RGB one would give you 48.8 CFM. So not only does this spin up faster, but it also blows more air, so that's pretty awesome. Now this one uses dual ball bearing, while the other two use fluid dynamic bearings and has a 0.6 sewn noise level, while both the originals had 0.3 sewn. And since it can change RPMs, this is a PWM four pin fan header. This will work on a three pin, but then you're going to get 3,300 RPM, unless of course you change the voltage. But that's this guy. We have three over here. We can go ahead and swap out any 360 millimeter fans on the Arctic side with these, and you'd be better off. It'd be much cooler. And it also brings four of the fan screws. You can see those right over here get you a closer look and let's see anything else that's it just the fan and the screws nice and simple so let's bring you over to the p14 pwm pst argb also comes with a six-year warranty this is compatible with rgb gen 2 Gigabyte Fusion 2.0 RGB, MSI Mystic Light Sync, and ASRock Polychrome Sync as well. And actually one thing I did forget to mention about this fan, to help with noise levels when it is attached to a case, these are rubberized. So put it up here against a fan or a radiator or over here, that's going to help with the noise level as well. So that's beautiful. Nothing else in this box and nothing else here. So the same fan screws, but these are silver, whereas the other ones were black. Again, this is a white fan. It's a semi-passive 140 millimeter ARGB fan. It goes from zero to 1,900 RPMs. Like the other one, it is PWM controlled. Now the airflow goes up to 68.9 CFM. This has two millimeters of static pressure and these are fluid dynamic bearing fans and the noise level will go up to 0.3 so. Now over here, not only does it give you RGB, but it allows you to connect another ARGB fan as well. And with this fan, you are able to connect one 
into the other, into the other, into the other with Arctix PST. The fan height on this guy is 27 millimeters and this one weighs 225 grams. So let's go ahead and connect it to a system real quick. We're gonna start you off first with the P12 Max. Nice little fan and also has this as well. Now this does not have the PST you're not able to do any sort of fan sharing. So you have to connect this into some sort of fan hub or just directly into the motherboard. When I say connected to the motherboard, I mean to one of these four pin headers right there. Now you can also use a three pin fan header, but you're going to be using the fan at full speed unless you adjust the voltage. If you have it set up as PWM in your system, then it'll go as fast as it needs to. So we'll go ahead and connect that right into here. Now, mind you, you shouldn't do this with your system on. I'm just showing you real quick. And I might end up showing you why you don't do it with your system on. Okay, so connected there. So we could see that here. And again, it does not have RGB, so you're not going to be able to see any sort of lighting on it. But it does have some nice airflow to it. Very nice airflow. Again, we are PWM controlled, so as the system gets hotter, it's going to rev up. As we're using the system, we hear it revving up. Putting my microphone here so you can hear it. So I am changing the fan speeds here. I'm going to do a custom and I'm going to raise it. Actually, I'm moving it to default. Now, mind you, that was going to be a lot louder than you would ever hear it because it was literally blowing on the microphone, but it is a relatively quiet fan. I can hear it because it's the closest fan to me, but if it were in a system, chances are I probably wouldn't hear it. So set up like this, you're seriously going to be breaking some records on a liquid cooling unit. I have the CPU fan header a little bit higher and that's what this one is connected to. So she's blowing a lot more air than these two. Again, they're PWM controlled, but being how you set them as performance and the likes, let me show you real quick. Now in the BIOS coming under hardware monitor, I need to hold this fan because it keeps wanting to fall over because it, it is literally blowing that much air and then on the other side sucking so much so you see if i let go whereas these guys i don't have to let go and again it's all depending on where you have it plugged into so we can see right over here cpu we have under smart mode smart fan mode and then we have this curve over here now i'm not sure which those two up there are but if we go under system over here we can raise this. Now they're picking up. This one is going faster as well. Oh, because I still have over here. So system one, system two. So if I uncheck this. Now this one sped up. And if I put this back on, it slows down. Then if I system fan four, if I do the same, it'll probably fall over. Okay, it's being good right now, but we could raise it. There we go, it's starting to move. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I love the way that works. All right, I'm going to put them all back before they take over the world. All right.
right? And now we're just gonna boot out of here. Then I wanna show you the P14s real quick. The P14 is going to be similar to the P12, whereas you plug it into a fan header. But then we also have the ARGB connections. Now that's going to be plugged into a three pin ARGB connection. On this board, there's one available over here. Now it's never a good idea to plug anything in with your system on, but I do my own stunts. So don't do this at home. So we'll see the three pin is right over here. It's kind of hidden with all these cables in the way, but I'm gonna go ahead and connect that real quick. Now I have burnt out some doing that. So again, be very careful doing that. Don't do that at home. I'm a trained monkey. <laughs> so this is just the ARGB portion. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the fan. Okay, we are connected. I just plugged it to the PWM. One of the same that I connected the P12s to. So now what is really cool about this fan that unfortunately the P12 doesn't have is, okay, I'm gonna connect it right back here. I'm going to first connect the PWM fan cable, the PST cable to the other cable. Again, not safe to do. So that cable into this cable. And the ARGB cable, I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into this ARGB cable over here. So I'm gonna take off this cover and then connect this into this. Again, it's not recommended to do it with the system on. Okay, so this is this fan powering this fan, both in power, making it spin and ARGB. So now we'll bring in a third fan and we'll do the same. This time I'll connect the ARGB portion first. So it doesn't matter which one you connect first. Okay, and then the fan portion. So you could put two of these fans on, let's say a 280 millimeter radiator. That's awesome. Now the P12, unfortunately, since they don't have that daisy chaining PST potential, you could still fit it on a, let's say a 360 millimeter radiator because it definitely has that push, that force to allow it to go through density much more easily, just like these as well. But because there is no PST, you'd have to find a hub to connect this to. So not a tremendous deal. And like the P12s, the P14s also have that rubber over here. So when you connect it to a case, that way this absorbs all that vibration, cutting down on noise. Like with all RGB, of course it's blue now, but you could change it. So right now I have it on a steady blue. So if I wanted red, I just click red click apply and this will work with any of the RGB software for motherboards. We'll switch it all to red or let's say green. And then if you just want to change it from steady, let's say to rainbow, Or maybe you want to listen to some music. Switch that to music. Then we'll come into YouTube music. And just as an example, we'll do like a nightmare. So pretty nice the way that works. So I hope you enjoyed this first look at the brand new Arctic P12 Max and the P14 ARGB white case fans. They can also be used for liquid cooling units as well, like I have up here with their elevated pressure, their elevated CFMs, their elevated everything. This is the perfect addition for you for push pull for whatever you want to use it for. So let me know down in the comments, not only what you think about this video, but also what you're going to use it for. This is Iggy with this bites for you out. See you guys.